Welcome to another video, and today we will be designing an AM radio. AM radio was originally designed in the 1900s and is one of the earliest methods of radio communication. It uses amplitude modulation instead of the modern frequency modulation to transmit audio on the 535 to 1605 kHz frequency bands. Below is a basic AM radio receiver I've designed. It receives, demodulates, and amplifies an AM station in five steps. The first step is to recover an AM radio station out of the radio frequency noise. This is done using a bandpass filter tuned to the range of AM radio. The signal of this is then run through an envelope detector, which is what demodulates the AM radio signal. After being demodulated, this signal is run through a high pass filter to eliminate low frequency noise, and then a voltage follower to increase the current of the signal. This signal is then fed into an audio amplifier to drive a speaker, which results in you hearing the AM radio station. A source of power, of course, is needed to run all of this. I've used six AA batteries to create plus and minus 4.5 volts. However, a 9 volt battery and a voltage divider would also suffice. If we look at the signal in various parts of the circuit, we can see this process happening in real time. If we look at the antenna input, we see that our RF is dominated by a 60 Hz wave being caused by all of the transmission line noise. Once we remove this noise with the RLC filter, we get the blue line, which is our AM radio station, which is then demodulated into the yellow line, which is our audio signal. This is then fed into the audio amplifier, which amplifies the signal into our blue signal on the right, which is our final audio output. This whole design is good in theory, but let's breadboard it and see if it will actually work at all. As you can see, I actually got remarkably good audio quality out of the breadboarded circuit, so I decided to 3D print a bracket to hold the batteries and the speaker together and commit the final design to a perf board. When I was a quarterback getting recruited by Mississippi State, when Dan Bolin was there, they were pretty important to say, you know, you got some. 